All right, QR code generator. Let's take a look at how this works. So I simply Googled QR code generator and see lots of that coming up. So I want to click on www.qr stuff. I've done a lot of research and I really like the way this one works. So qrstuff.com is great for a few reasons. One, it has everything labeled to make it user friendly. The numbers one, two, three, and four just show you the process and how to get your QR code. And I really like the idea of a foreground color that you can choose. It's a fabulous way to differentiate your codes for instruction within the classroom. But let's look first at the data type. I'm going to create a website URL QR code for my portfolio. So I'm going to leave this clicked. If you did want to do something else, you could simply click another type of data. But as I said, I'll go back to the website URL. I'm going to click in the website URL box, number two, and I'm going to pull up another page I have opened, the home page of my portfolio, my educational technology portfolio. So I'm going to just highlight this, copy it, and then simply just paste it right in. And you just saw what happened. It just completely went over and created my QR code immediately. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to press enter. You don't have to um, do any more except for just cut and paste your website URL right into the content box. Now, if you want to change this, you're going to have to pay. You see, the more letters or words that you have in your URL, the more complex the code that is generated will be. So you want to try to keep this short. If you want this to be less complex, you can pay for the upgrade. But right now, I feel confident in this code. And I love this, as this feature over here. You can change the colors for different groups, for different group projects, um, for different subjects. So I really like that for differentiation as well as um, using this across curriculum. Then we choose our output type. So I actually have another way besides these downloads, print, and email, which you could easily do. You just click on those and follow the directions, which, which are very simple. Um, but what I'm going to show you here is a real quick way to just click, right click on a PC and control click on a Mac and it's going to just click and slide right off and it says generate PNG and I want to put that right here on a on a document I've been creating and this will work with uh, I'm in pages right now which is equivalent to Microsoft Word in Mac you could do it in Word you can do it in Mac I'm just gonna drag this over and there it is so there's my portfolio and I can just center it, move it around, and I already have the label, but now I have a QR code for a blog that I created and an EdTech portfolio that I created with some great ideas in educational technology. And it's just that simple. And I want to thank you for your time.